Today I want to make my first ever video on an engine. Well, in fact, specifically, I want to make a video about a cylinder head. Now this is pretty rare. And in fact, the number 16 here on the side, it was the 16th cylinder head, this style in the world. B&T Performance Retro ordered this about six months or a year ago. And I believe they're up to about number 25. So there's only about 25 of these cylinder heads in the world. Mostly they're in America and in Japan. This is certainly the first one in Thailand, the first one in Southeast Asia, and pretty much probably one of the first outside of America and Japan. And those of you who are sharp-eyed, you'll already spotted it's sitting on Nissan's L-Series engine. But the story here today is in the cylinder head. This cylinder head is built by a company called Datsun Works in America. It's the brainchild of the owner of this Florida company called Derek Minetti. The L-Series engine, the straight six engine, it is really popular with tuners, but no one's been able to productionize a double overhead cam, 24 valve head for this engine. And although it fits in cars like the 240Z and it has just been hit on by tuners for decades, this is a new concept to be able to build a twin cam head, 24 valves and put it into limited production. But not as simple as that, you've got to have a lot of car knowledge to get this head to fit it on an engine and make it all work. But this is kind of a holy grail. And I want to talk to you about it today. And B&T have put it onto an engine rig and we're going to fire it up in a minute, hear what it sounds like. So basically, Derek Minetti, he's a bit of a whiz kid at design. He used 3D printing techniques, sand printing techniques to mock up a head. He realized it could be done. Now he's going to need parts, he's going to need basis to do this and he went for the k20 head now everyone in the world knows the k20 everyone knows the parts the parts are available everything is available the knowledge base is available for those engines so he decided to use the k20 internals into his head use features of the k20 build it into his designs so he was pulling the L-Series engine from Nissan together with the K20 head. Everyone knows both. He's bringing something to, that people can recognize, people can work with. Out of the K20 head, he's taken all the valve components, he's taken the rockers, the needle bearings, the spring, spring seats, and really the deal maker was the removable cam towers. He's also taken the rocker shafts, put all those internals, into his head he's got a working proposition and a proposition that he's going to be able to sell to people people are going to connect with they're not going to be blind into something crazy that a guy's designed that they have no understanding they have knowledge they have understanding so the timing system has been developed using nissan ka24 de parts to be compatible with the l series crank They've used a Nissan bottom timing chain, which is shorter and it's relinked. And then the KA24 DE's top timing chain, idler, chain tensioner are all stock. It all fits together. So let's just talk about the camshafts because they're completely bespoke. Several companies in the Datsun, Nissan, tuning world, racing world gave input into the design of these camshafts. Datsun Works have created a bespoke camshaft that fits this very, very unique project. And while we're talking about the head, when it sits onto the engine, it uses a stock L24 gasket. So it just drops straight on without any adaption to the surface of the head at all or anything like that. It fits straight on. So I've introduced this cylinder head, twin cam, superior flow rates, 
all modern valve componentry into it. Now I want to get to the rest of the engine because it's all custom, all bespoke, just like the top end. This is a one-off in the world. B&T have used an L28 block. Into it's got a Camiari crankshaft, special order tram pistons, Camiari conrods, and a high flow oil pump. The triple Weber 45s are on a specially made mount to account for the reverse tilting of the inlet manifold. And on the other side, there's a special header being designed to suit the engine specifications. There's a Camiari distributor, MSD 6AL2 and coil, and there's a specially made oil sump, also to suit the reverse tilting of the engine. So wow, this is just completely crazy, completely one-off, and we haven't finished with the shocks yet. The thing where I'm gonna surprise you is, this is going into a Hakosuka, a KPGC 10, the B&T own, and it's a genuine car. Now in Thailand, you see quite a few Hakosukas about, but they're all built up, retro built onto the sedans. I only know of two genuine Hakosukas in Thailand. B&T have got one. I've looked at the chassis plates I've looked at the details to check that it is actually genuine and B&T were more than happy to show me that. So what we've got, this hybrid holy grail monster is going into a Hakasuka. Now, a few purists might pull their hair out and scream, but I think this car is gonna be really watched and get a lot of attention for people who follow the JDM tuning world and this car is going to turn up i believe next month in february it's getting very close the engine is ready to go in the car has been getting a rebuild as well it's getting very close to turning into reality right it's time to find out what this engine sounds like and runs like go So we're warming the engine up now. We've got to get the engine temperature up. Once that's up, we can give it some revs. But it sounds nice, it's burbling away. It's got a very nice exhaust on it to help give it a good sound. So now we're in the warm up. A couple of minutes, we can open it up a little bit more. 